Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of the Swiftcase Productivity Podcast. My name is Adam Sykes, founder of Swiftcase, the professional productivity platform. And I'm Craig McCarthy, development manager of Swiftcase. I'm Marcus Bertrand, senior developer of Swiftcase. And the Whitby developer of Swiftcase. Okay, great. So today we were going to talk about a little bit about how we've automated and made our lives more productive outside of work. So, you know, obviously people have only got so many hours in the day and we spend so much time in work. We want to make the most of our free time when we're outside of work. We don't want to spend time doing things we don't want to do. Uh, we want to focus on what matters to us outside of work, don't we, exactly. Craig? Yeah. So I suppose Alex had this idea for this episode and um, little things that you can try yourself potentially or what we do. Hopefully you find uh, some useful information and uh, and play it for yourself. So anyone want to kick off with some of the uh, ideas? <laughs> Why don't I start? So for me, a big one is shopping and cooking. I find it takes loads of time. Yeah. So I guess I kind of found a way around that. What I found, uh, actually, I got the idea because my mom sells these machines called thermal mixers, and basically they're like an all-in-one tool, and it kind of uh, the latest one at least integrates online so you can create a shopping list which you can then link to like uh, Asda or I use Asda yeah. or any you know big supermarket and uh, you can essentially create the recipes that you want to do that week and then it will give you all the ingredients and you link them to uh, Asda for me and then essentially that's that's your shopping done and you can just get it delivered straight to you then when it comes to cooking uh, it has like an on-screen thing where you just literally place the ingredients inside, uh, press a few dials, and does everything for you. You just sit back, relax. <laughs> yeah, this is the future made real, yeah. isn't it? And I, and I think this is just the beginning because as they, I mean, it's not just thermomix on in general cooking. You know, yeah, it's it's advancing to the point where humans aren't really needed anymore. Yeah, they're just deliverers of the ingredients. Basically. Exactly. And we've already seen the uh, Boston Systems robots that can now like packages. Yeah, I don't know if you saw that because one of the major issues with the automation of robots was that they just literally couldn't put boxes mm. in the right place. So that's what humans would do. And yeah, then, yeah. Well, now that's not a problem. So we may yeah. not even have to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, delivery of food is going to yeah. get automated, isn't yeah. it? I mean, I suppose it's, it's inevitable. I mean, I, we've literally recently moved to getting online shopping. I, mean, yeah. I don't know why I've never done it before because. We used to always go to the shop place because yeah. we liked picking what we were going to have yeah, that yeah. night. Do you really not like... find that sometimes it comes like um, close to its sell by date, usually date, or the meat yeah. is a bit like, yeah. oh, I'll take grisly this one. Yeah. No, well, yeah. the, the meat's been good, and I don't want to name drop supermarkets, <laughs> but you know they've been really good. Um, and the the sell by date issue's only been an issue for certain things, but mm. what what we kind of try and do is use this use plan the meals that we're going to have close to the delivery date for things that are likely going to be an issue oh, okay. for like, like steak or whatever. Yeah, so if you like if you've yeah. got for example coleslaw was one of the big ones. The <laughs> first week we ordered coleslaw and it was going to go out like in two days but we were going to have that like yeah. next week. We just had to rearrange things yeah. to so that the one but I think this time when we put the order in you could put special comments in per product and we just literally said <laughs> we want a long, decent date oh, wow. on this, That's and they did. They did give us one. I mean, I whether it's just going like, to the butchers yeah. or something yeah. like that, yeah. isn't it? Really? Yeah, so well, that's that was it. That's what yeah. I think is the key thing. Is like that feedback you can give. Yeah, so that's it's not just an in. order. It is like yeah. someone. But I suppose then it, then unless you've got sign of someone there and from an automation point of view, yeah. reading the comments, it does require human interaction. Right, yeah. But yeah. but for ultimately, <laughs> yeah, yeah, for now. But ultimately. That's you know that saves me five days a week at least because we probably still go at the weekend mm. you know to get all the bits we don't get on the online shopping but at least five six days a week trips to the supermarket say so that's twenty minutes each way plus time in, that's the, in the supermarket yeah that's like a massive saving isn't it I mean we you know or my my wife does a lot of the cooking in our house um, but you know just the the actual saving in the shopping part of it. That is a, a massive. There's, been, there's massive two. Saving. There's two mind blowing things here, really. First of all, <laughs> there's a machine that can cook our meals for me. Um, as someone who, who can't cook, really, you know, for, for toffee, um, I think that's amazing. But I mean, you see um, now a lot of these, you know, just kind of like boxes yeah. that come along with the ingredients for it. Yeah, yeah. Because I still think there's a joy yeah. behind cooking, and I think we've discussed yeah. this in one of our first episodes, mm. actually. 
it's that human element, isn't it? Because mm. you know, you can automate all sorts. You can yeah. automate the more artsy, creative things, but you can still do that. But yeah. sometimes you just want to get home and have a meal. Yeah. And that's when takeaways come out because the exactly. option is like takeaway or not, and it's like that used to be it, wasn't it? Certainly, yeah. like round here, I don't know whether it's different over in Liverpool. Where where I live, takeaway is very basic. You mm. can't really get many things that are healthy on a takeaway. Well, I, I've at all, yeah, you really struggling. I moved from the city centre um, into like the the middle, of, like the the outskirts of Liverpool, and uh, yeah, the quality has just completely dropped. Yeah. Now. Um, it's, it's chippy curry pizza, yeah. or, or like Chinese, a very anglicised Chinese. That is, yeah, yeah. Or very fried. Yeah, it comes with chips. Yeah, yeah. So you on can't the new management every week. Yeah, <laughs> you, can, you know, like to some places, like you can get like falafel and all mm-hmm. those, you know, decent like sort of like Lebanese food. Yeah, or something. it's quite you know quite healthy and stuff. But yeah, if that is your only option. Yeah, but this this whole um, ordering from supermarkets online it's a bit of a new thing to me I wasn't really until I was speaking to Alcus about it the other day that I realised that it's probably a really good option now because the amount of time I waste throughout the week because mm. I'm not one to do a huge shop all yeah. at once because I, no, I don't drive we didn't do that. And, and neither does uh, my girlfriend either so we tend to just take what we can carry and we've always got um, a backpack and stuff like that so we'll do a good few shops throughout the week but I'm a bit of a sucker for like the bargain bins yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. If something's got an orange sticker on it that's yeah, a yeah. sale, I'll usually just drive to it. Yeah. Um, so I think doing it online would be a massive... But do, do you think you save money by getting the bargain? Though? No. You always get no. it in addition. No, get, I, I know I don't. Because yeah, you get the bargains on the online. So like, yeah. You, yeah, you still get oh, all the right. offers on the online shopping. I know, do you mean you like know? things that nearly past the event on that day do you get oh no you don't get like the, ye- the yellow label yeah. type yeah. situation yeah. That's, that's, like, that's, that's what we do see because we've got yeah. a co-op next door to us yeah. I literally just run in at 6 o'clock and all the really nice artists it's mayhem it's like yeah. 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 30p but it, and like you have to sort of like yeah, elbow little old yeah. ladies yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and Black Friday type and I, there's stuff I wouldn't buy I wouldn't spend £2 pound on a loaf of bread for that I'd yeah. go off tomorrow True. but I would get it locally and um and you kind of develop a relationship with people in yeah. there as well. They know what you like. And, yeah. But do, yeah. do you need it though? I suppose, no, I suppose that's one of the key things, yeah, isn't yeah. it? And I think what, one thing I've noticed is like, it would be, especially, I think it's healthier because you plan your meals. Yeah. yeah. Like if, if I went to the shops mm. and I was hungry, mm. you'd probably get that bar, like bag of sweets as well yeah, or something else. Or, yeah, you know, you might get break. an extra bottle of wine or something. Yeah, yeah. And then like, because you haven't bought it, it's then a big effort to go, should we go all the way to the shops just to buy some sweets? No, we probably won't bother. We'll have like what we've already got in the house. And so you do, you think about things more. So yeah, you'd still get the offers, but it's probably because you bought an offer that's something you were going to think about buying anyway. Mm-hmm. So you actually spend less because you're not buying offers that, you know, a massive buy one, get one free that yeah. might go off. Yeah. You might actually, you know, choose something a bit you know, yeah. a bit more healthy and like what what's fitting in because you're thinking about it and it's yeah. it's a delayed, uh, delayed my experience with that was that actually when we did online shopping lots of stuff went off because we had grand ambitions about good meals yeah. but we're often too tired so we go let's go to the cold and get pizza mm-hmm. right and then so your courgettes and stuff then were going off so whereas now if we felt like cooking I'd go and get the fresh stuff mm-hmm. so it, for us it was we promised ourselves that we'd be diligent but we ended up letting ourselves down in the future yeah. and therefore wasted more and we couldn't stand the waste. I suppose it depends on your, it's like, sort of like my wife at the moment, she, she stays at home because yeah. we've got young children, she stays at home with the children. So she's there and she like, you know, she actually enjoys cooking. So it's like one of her hobbies is actually, you know, we've got tons of recipe books. Yeah. So she really enjoys it and she would not, she's not like the type of person to yeah. like not want to cook. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we have takeaways and stuff yeah. every now and then, you know, yeah. And if you know, the, the, we will do that, but she, she'd enjoy it, so the, that was never really an issue. Yeah. And I suppose that's when, like, something like Alcus's yeah, yeah, yeah. machine comes in. Like if you're not, that type an of, option there, and yeah, it doesn't like, like it's, people, not, it's not one or the other, is it? It's one of those what things people, we've discussed it? it so many times when it comes to automation. It's like the chatbot, isn't it? It's yeah. you know, it's not designed to completely replace mm, human interaction, mm. yeah, exactly. It's for people who want to use that. 
great. It's a it's a quicker option. It's, it's a lot cheaper, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And some people don't want the human interaction. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah, it's very yeah. desirable. Exactly. 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 And some people don't want to cook. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's exactly. a huge thing for me. When I used to go shopping on a Saturday, I used yeah. to get oh, so frustrated. It's chaos. <laughs> Honestly, oh, I used to get so stressed. Yeah. So yeah. now just doing it online, that's a whole yeah. amount of stress that's removed from my yeah. life. Mm-hmm. It, it, how is the thermos that makes it better than a microwave then? Oh, the Thermomix is... How does like, it cook it? I could sit here and describe <laughs> the whole thing to you. It's basically, uh, the idea of it is to combine all the equipment in your kitchen into one. Yeah. So like f- frying, steaming, you know. It actually can fry. Yeah, yeah. It does it all. Yeah, yeah, I'm not business. I'd love to see this device. <laughs> yeah. We'll do a Pope on Kester's yeah. 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 yeah, so I suppose now we've got more free time, we, we end up looking at other things that we you know do with our time. So we might watch TV or... You know, we might be watching YouTube videos. So, and some of the things, like I think I, I've done an article on this recently. One of the things I do is I I make sure that I always watch recorded TV or on demand TV mm. because where it hasn't got adverts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because if you record it, you can fast forward the adverts. Yeah, yeah. So good. you if you actually you actually stuff, end right? up saving, you know. Adverts, what are they like every some some programs seem to be every sort of in ten minutes, yeah. isn't it, or more? Well, I think it accelerates, but yeah. it becomes more frequent towards the end of the program, doesn't it? Oh, does it? Yeah, yeah, I've noticed that. I hate, I particularly hate that on the Bake Off. I don't yeah. know if anyone else watches Bake yeah. Off, but um, literally they'll do like about three sets of adverts just when they're about to tell you the results <laughs> of the winner. winner. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. it's like an advert right. just before, yeah. Yeah. and it's like no, but yeah. I've already beaten you because I've recorded it and I fast forwarded those <laughs> yeah. adverts. So don't yeah. try that. Well, actually, even on yeah. demand. You- before the channel falls, we can't actually fast forward. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah so yeah. that's why it's, it's yeah. better if, if it's it, an on demand yeah. channel that's got adverts, is record it anyway. Yeah, yeah. Forget on demand, it's it's just yeah. trying to make you force <laughs> you to watch adverts. Mm. You know, <laughs> record it and fast forward them. And then with YouTube, so I, I do, I watch quite a lot of YouTube videos, yeah. so like I, I find them quite good for like learning things. Mm. Um, but they take, I read a lot faster than the videos, but I do like the videos. Um, but I find that. If you, you can probably get away with most people if they don't speak too fast, like I might do. Yeah. If they don't speak too fast, you can fast forward them a little bit so you yeah. can get to like, you can actually change the speed of a YouTube mm. video and watch it at like, you know, one and a quarter times mm. or one and a half times. Or if you're feeling yeah, really brave, maximum, isn't it? Two, yeah. two's the maximum, but yeah. that's like, you know, you've got to be quite uh, yeah. focused in to listen to that. But you know, a 10 minute video is now five minutes. Mm-hmm. And I, I listen to a lot of YouTube videos in the car, so, you might not want to like our podcast we have the video but what we're actually saying you know you can just listen to it so you can actually just play youtube videos in the car you're not watching the video because you're driving um but you can listen to them through your you know your yeah. car radio system and what you save time while you're driving you're learning things as well like audio books you've got all this content on youtube you listen to it then you listen to it a bit faster as well yeah. you've, you know you've that's really cool. There's a lot of automation yeah. in that as well because it's curated for you by the algorithms as well. Isn't yeah. It? So the next, the next video, it literally yeah. hooks up to my like um, next button on my car radio. So if oh, I right. if I like yeah. it's on Bluetooth, so I just hit next and it just puts the next video on. Mm-hmm. And so, so you know, it's all safe. No one's using their phone while they're driving. <laughs> you know, it's it's just a just a, a medium. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, on the curation of uh, of things, I suppose. <laughs> um, my big one is um, music. Now, I used to spend ages, a, a quite an embarrassing amount of time, actually, <laughs> um, and was handcrafting these amazing playlists of all my favorite bands and songs at that time. And then I'd be like, okay, this is this month's playlist. It's awesome, it's gonna be great. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I get like two days into it, and, yeah. you know, I'm listening <laughs> to it, um, and I'm like, oh, it's a bit boring this now, isn't it? So I'm gonna make a new one. So then I have to pick some more songs. Now, what I do is Spotify actually curates it for me based on my listening habits. And I've been using it. I didn't realize I've actually been using it for over 10 years now. I didn't even realize it was around. Spotify, it's 10 years old. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. I've it's got like invitation only originally. Yeah, it? yeah. But because I've kind of built up this catalog of, mm-hmm. of okay. listening habits, mm-hmm. it knows exactly when I want to hear. Mm-hmm. And I think I've got about four daily mixes. Yeah, and I use that now. Yeah. So rather than spending, because I can use to work every mm-hmm. day. Um, and that usually takes anywhere between half an hour to an hour. Um, rather than sitting there trying to decide what I'm going to listen to for the rest of the day, it just does it for me. So I've saved myself a lot of time. Mm-hmm. Love it. Yeah, yeah it's, Love it's it. amazing. It's I mean, just yeah. new music, does it? Yeah, and that, that's been another big thing. Discovery Weekly, well. isn't it? Yeah, some of my favourite bands now have all been from 
this discovery thing. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I used to have to go to review sites and look, and go through the reviews. It's changed. And, like, yeah, I spent a lot of time looking at albums, going to the best new albums, and, like, and then I'd add them all on Spotify and then play the album and then discard it. But now, actually, like I say, I just go and discover weekly and if it's an artist that I like to have them. Straight away, yeah, isn't it? exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, but yeah, it's pretty, so yeah, pretty so awesome. Yeah, that's a big saving on time because mm. it's time consuming putting those playlists. Yeah, and I think you tend to kind of lean on your favourites as well. And mm. I think it's not, it's much better for you mentally to discover new things. Yeah, mm. and yeah. put yourself in situations where you are being exposed to new ideas and new yeah. things. Because when people are just on rotation and just it's just toxic, I think, to your brain. Yeah, yeah you, you know? grow up, it's kind of Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All for it. Yeah. Great. Okay, so anyone got any other key things they automated or improved the productivity of their yeah. home life? Mm, I've, got, I've just got to. Uh, I was just given a free Google Mini by Spotify actually, mm. which um, now in the kitchen we have music, and that's actually I can just say when the kids are in there in the morning and they're having breakfast or whatever, I can just put some classical music on. Yeah. Just without have to choose. <laughs> yeah, and it kind of calms them down a bit. Okay. You know, so, so they, they may switch it on. <laughs> yeah, you can go and just pick up like, uh, what's it called, heavy metal uh, doggy. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, just something like, yeah, like it, the other day my daughter just suddenly started singing We Will Rock You by Queen. Yeah. And dancing and the thing, and then it could just put it on straight away. Yeah. You know, right. And having that availability in the kitchen, which wasn't there before, it was only in the living room. Yeah. It has actually changed quite a lot, the mood of that place. Because music is obviously very important yeah. towards sort of like directing kids to the same way and ourselves. We're suddenly all dancing and in a good mood. Mm. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, 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 I think it was like a major thing. And just being able to do it without having to pull my phone out and then find it and open it and yeah. just say, put some Queen on or whatever. Mm. That's been a major improvement. And it was great. That's good. In exchange, Google gets to know everything about me. Yeah, <laughs> listen, so, listen, so it's not really free. Listens in on every conversation <laughs> that you're having. <laughs> And every inane request passes to get on to the breakfast. Chinese government. I've got one of them this week actually. So yeah, it's, it's, good. Good. Oh, yeah. it's, it's going to go. I was going to bring it for work, but it doesn't have a step and it uh, doesn't have a line out, so we can't put it. How loud is it? Yeah, it's not very loud. Uh, yeah. Set up a microphone attached to it, and uh, yeah, you, <laughs> the, there is a way. monitor mics. Yeah, you can you can actually hack it, but I think it was just a bit beyond me at the time. Yeah, but that might cool. be for another podcast. Or if anyone yeah. has any suggestions on how to make it louder. Yeah, oh, please. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I was thinking as well that you about the text message. Oh, of thing. course, yeah, yeah sorry, yeah. You, so my oh, like we mentioned it on other podcast was the uh, when we talk about apps that we like, um the shortcuts for me on the uh, iPhone mm. allows you to do so many things that I've only just scratched the surface. But one of them was I was finding that whenever I picked up the kids or I needed to be somewhere to pick up the kids or meet my wife anywhere, I could literally just swipe left and press a shortcut workflow one button that says vicky eta and that will then message her with my current location and time or it will take for me to get to where she is which would be home generally and uh, and that just means that i only ever remember this when i get in the car mm-hmm. so when i get in the car i'm like oh i don't want to i just want to get going i don't want to sit there and type that message so i wouldn't type it out so she would be like oh where are you you know and um, now i can just go oh as soon as i think about it press the button so it's much less but, dangerous and much more likely to happen and well let's say happy aren't they you know, get, and, so, and it's much more accurate than I think because I'll probably go yeah I'll see you in uh, I'll, I'll just mm-hmm. say I'm going to hit there quicker than usual so you know half an hour but really it's 45 minutes with the Google Maps even though it's not 100% perfect it's pretty much darn close now yeah. with, uh, with traffic estimation and yeah. everything it's so close that it may as well be and I assume one day it will be ex- extremely mm-hmm. accurate no, that's great. That's great. Yeah. I love that. Mm. Really love that. So I think lot, lots of different things we talked about there, from automating, getting your shopping, uh, to cooking. You know, cooking your dinner, to watching content, to curating playlists, to even texting people to tell you <laughs> where, where you're going to be, yeah. and, and listen to listen to music without having to pick up your phone. So I think if you've got any other great ideas about how to make your home life more productive or what you can automate at home, then drop them in the comments below. Look forward to seeing them. Yeah, and don't forget to check us out on social media. We're at Swiftcase UK across all the platforms. Um, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. 
and all the others as well. And um, don't forget to go to swiftcase.co.uk for more information or something. And if you want to be automatically informed about our, any of our podcasts, then just click like subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> and improve your life with automation even more. Okay, so thanks everyone for listening. It's been the Swiftcase Productivity Podcast. With My name's Adam Sykes, founder of Swiftcase, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks.